guys so I'm down some road in Kentucky I'm going to see uh, Abraham Lincoln's birthplace so I think I got about nine more miles or so my phone doesn't work out here so I have no GPS or anything which is I eat I just hope that I'm going the right way. Guess we'll find out. Some good looking country out here though. There is no shoulder on this road. <laughs> When you drive by Abraham Lincoln's birthplace, you gotta check it out, you know what I mean? Abraham Lincoln is one of my favorite presidents. One thing I like about Abraham Lincoln is a lot of times when he'd go to the sites where they were having the wars, uh, he'd be the tallest person there, pretty much, and bullets would be flying past his head and he'd just be standing there talking as if he didn't care. <laughs> it's pretty funny. Abraham Lincoln's birthplace here. Look at that. Okay, Silver, I'm going to go in there. Abraham Lincoln's a cool dude. So, up here is the very first memorial ever built for Abraham Lincoln. Um, there's a building up here. Um, and inside the building is where Abraham was Le Abraham Lincoln was born and lived for two years uh, and it's right there there's a cabin inside there which is like the cabin pretty much is like the cabin that uh, he was born in so let's take a walk up here Check it out guys, the birthplace of Abraham Lincoln, pow! These doors don't like to open. Hi. <laughs> Checking it out. So this is, uh, as close as they could get it to the real cabin? Well, it's an authentic cabin from the time period. Okay, okay. I suppose I can't go inside, huh? No. <laughs> Very cool. Guys, this is where Abraham Lincoln was born. One of my favorite presidents. But he is for a lot of people. <laughs> oh yeah, 
the back sides. Wow. I'm surprised there's no lights in there. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, that guy said it gets pretty boring just waiting in there for people to come, you know, and check it out. <laughs> I could imagine so, but they got to keep people from touching the cabin, you know, so. We owe uh, Abraham Lincoln a, a lot of gratitude. He stopped slavery. Um, he did a lot for America. When we were lost and doing really evil things. Um, yeah. He made things right. This is uh, Abraham Lincoln's father, Thomas Lincoln, and Abraham Lincoln uh, described his father as, even in childhood, a wandering, laboring boy. He paid $200 for this cabin, Thomas Lincoln. Boundary Oak, as it appeared in 1938. A first-rate house servant. Boundary oak tree. When Thomas and Nancy Lincoln, with their young daughter, Sarah, moved to the Sinking Spring Farm in 1808, this white oak tree marked one corner of the property this tree, located less than 150 yards from the family cabin, was thought to be 25 to 30 years old at the time of Abraham Lincoln's birth. The tree, which died in 1976, was once a living link to our 16th president. This cross section of the boundary oak has been preserved and a chronology of Lincoln's life can be traced in the growth of rings. Cool beans. And here's a room with empty chairs. That just happened. Why the hell did I have such a problem 
pronouncing that word. Chronology. Chronology. <laughs> Whatever. You can tell I don't say it very often. I mean, from normal day-to-day -day stuff, when do you really even use that word? Chronology. <laughs> hey guys, so there's a, there's a book to sign here. Register in the National Parks Visitors. And I signed it on 128.15. City Duluth, Minnesota. I said, loved it and live free as a comment. Wow, there's people from Korea that came here. And New York and all that. Wow. If you guys come here, come and sign it. And, uh, yeah. Peace out, guys.